Hello everyone, this is Dr. Greg Campbell and welcome to our next series of videos. This video will cover when you input the code, the block code, for the Katana STML and it doesn't transfer the case to the MCX milling unit. This is not to be confused with the quality label issue. So I'm going to take you through this to help some of you who are having this issue. Uh, in particular, uh, it's happening obviously with the Omnicam and the PrimeScan. And this, this example is with the prime scan with the 5.01 software so we're going to talk about the 5.x software and we'll do a subsequent video with the omnicam software to show you how to uh, handle the situation so here we are in the manufacturer phase and i've got this to go to the mcxl milling unit i now have a choice of going to fast mill or fine i've chosen fine and when you go to block it's really important and we covered this in a previous video you must select the proper block size for the code you're putting in. A lot of people are getting a quality control label issue when they have this selected as a 14Z and they put the code in for a 12Z. So here I have 12Z selected and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit start. This is now going to start to package this send us to the MCXL and it's going to ask us to input the block code. It says scan barcode. And as that appears, it's going to say please scan the barcode and uh, I don't know if anybody's that works so I'm gonna you must select stop it's counterintuitive but you're gonna select stop when you do that you're gonna now input the barcode so as you click on the lower left down here I'm gonna touch the touch screen it's gonna bring up our keyboard and we're gonna input the block code for this product the 12z for this for the specific shade I'm gonna start inputting if you look on the lower left hand side K two two three FBA. So I've input it and I'm going to actually select enter. If I come here and I select enter, nothing's happening. So most people will then delete it, re-input it. But remember, when you're inputting a code, it must have seven letters, numbers, or symbols. This code actually has seven letters, numbers, or symbols. The asterisk sign does not count. So on here, you're inputting it properly. So it's quite frustrating. So what I'm going to show you is the mistake here. So if you actually X out of your touch screen you look at the bottom there is a start and a stop you actually have to select the start button it's now positioning the instruments if you see and this is now going to transfer over to the milling unit so that is what you have to be mindful of is that your touch screen is in the way so I'm going to stop the milling here I'm going to now show you uh, what we want to do here and I'm going to go ahead and go back to um, the start button and as that's preparing itself I just want to show you uh, what you want to do here. So once you set this, you're going to be fine for any future codes that you put in. So again, we're going to scan the barcode. You don't scan it. You have to hit stop and it's going to bring up your touch screen. What I'd like you to do is actually touch on your touch screen and move it up slightly so you can see the start and stop below. The start is in green. Obviously the stop is in red. We're going to now input our code F223 FBA and instead of hitting the enter on your touch screen you hit the start button and look at that it's going straight to so you can mill this so I hope this clears up some of your confusions and and I uh, would hope that uh, this will make life easier for you when you're doing your milling so happy milling and I thank you for watching this video and I look forward to our next time together thank you